what's up guys today i want to compare applications i've never done this before i mean this is camera application i'm going to be comparing i'm going to be comparing the google hdr plus camera application and the samsung stock camera application as you know the google hdr plus camera application that we found on the google pixel 2 has been ported to run on samsung galaxy and i think this will run on galaxy from i think from galaxy s7 edge down to the note line galaxy s7 edge upward i'm sure it's gonna run on galaxy Note edition or what fe edition i'm sure it's gonna run on it too but i'm running the asinos version of the processor if i can find the snapdragon version I will then I'm gonna put the link in this description but I will put this one if you're running the Asinos version I'm gonna put the link in the description so let's go to the camera go to HDR camera let's see how it does look like when you compare with the Samsung okay there is it this is Google HDR camera software I'm gonna turn up the flash so you can see properly as you can see you have the menus in letters written at the top you can see there you have slow mo, panorama, photo spare, lens blur, and settings. But something shocked me, you know, the settings. When I check the settings, I see that I can only film in 1080p, not 4K, you know. You see, that's the both front camera and back camera. You see, I can only film in 1080p, that's the maximum. I'm sure. This does not affect the Pixel 2 because Google said you can shoot 4K with the Pixel 2. So probably because it was ported, that's why we have this problem. You know, this is the camera interface. So you can see the only thing that I find that didn't work in this Google HDR camera software is the slow mo. Every time I try to launch slow mo, it crashes. You see that? That crashes a lot every time I try to launch it so I just believe that will work but everything else work and I kind of like the lens blur you know this lens blur on go for Google kind of like it it works flawlessly you know so easy but the way it takes picture is funny after taking your pictures you have to raise the phone up a little bit Did you see that I'm gonna try again see see slowly raise your device keep subject in center and it does work flawlessly you know when you take pictures on that and it's a processing your lens blur you know that works okay for me so what i'm gonna be doing now is i'm gonna be comparing this camera the samsung stock camera and i'm gonna be comparing with the google camera this one yeah so I'm gonna see is there any difference between both if you take pictures with both devices this is one device both application you know one device two application taking pictures on that device I want to see if there's any difference in that you know we know not it has to dual camera and I don't think this application this Google HD application will really benefit from that I just think it's just the basic you're gonna be getting just the basic software stuff like and the panorama everything else work flawlessly except the slow mo that crashes you know everything else is easy peasy asia plus spot on everything else go easy peasy hand in hand i kind of like the software anyway but i'm here to try out if there's any difference between this one and the samsung camera software maybe i might choose one if i like it better so I'm going to be showing the picture samples now. 